Rex Mundi is a quest for the Holy Grail told as a murder mystery. Um, it's set in Paris in 1933, um, but in this world, the Protestant Reformation never happened. So um, while it looks a lot like a film noir detective story, and that's definitely like the genre that I think it identifies with most, um, it's actually really the world is much more medieval, like the Catholic Church is still in power. Um, so, and, and magic is real. Um, so take like, again, take like a film noir uh, movie, but instead of the, the feds or the cops, you have uh, the Holy Inquisition. And instead of the gangsters, you have occultists and secret society members and sorcerers. And that's pretty much what it's about. The main character is Julian Sonnier. He's a, he's a doctor, he's a member of the Guild of Physicians, and he's an alcoholic. And um, he's a very talented doctor, but it's implied. And I have this worked out in my head, but I don't think we'll ever reveal it within the comic book. Um, something bad happened to him, and his career was ruined for some reason, something that he did in the past. Um, so he's sort of morose, morose and morbid. And um, there is uh, Genevieve Ternan, and she is sort of the femme fatale character. Although I wanted to make Genevieve a little bit more than a femme fatale, I wanted to make her a lot more sympathetic. Like, yeah, she, like Genevieve does a lot of bad things, but there's also a lot of context. Like, you, you can understand why she does all the bad things that she does, and you can sympathize with her, I hope. Um, basically, Genevieve is kind of a go between, between Julian and the Duke of Lorraine. And the Duke of Lorraine is the villain of the story. Um, he, his, he comes from one of the oldest noble families of France. He's trying to bring about a world war. And the reason he's doing it all is connected to the secret of the Holy Grail. So the main character, Julian, is trying to find out why he wants this war. And uh, Genevieve, just, it just so happens that she is uh, Lorraine's personal physician. And she's kind of seeing Lorraine on the side. And uh, Lorraine has asked her to spy on Julian. And she does, but she's trying to protect Julian at the same time because Julian has begun to mess with powers and forces that are totally beyond him. So in some ways, Genevieve is being really awful to him. But in, in other ways, if she weren't protecting him, he would be swallowed alive instantly. He wouldn't last very long. So um, that's the kind of balancing act she's trying to play. Um, on the other side of things, you have the Inquisition, and there's the Archbishop. He's kind of like the corrupt police, police captain. And um, there is uh, Inquisitor Morikin, who's kind of like his hatchet man, kind of like his Darth Vader. All the Inquisitors, they wear spooky metal masks. And um, Morikin is, again, just, yeah, just, he's just like Darth Vader. Like He's the one who's always sort of warning Julian off of his investigation. Because the church has been investigating the mystery of the Holy Grail, too. They have a lot of secret information that they're not letting out. And um, Julian, the main character, is always walking this fine line where nobody, there are no good guys. The, 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 the Inquisition, they're all totally evil and corrupt, like the Gestapo or something like that. And then you have the Duke of Lorraine, and he's probably even worse. Totally corrupt, total megalomaniac. Volume one is really the tip of the iceberg. Um, when, I, when I wrote the story, I wanted to write it like a film noir detective story, but I wanted to make sure the main character wasn't a detective, wasn't a professional detective. I mean, not only is he not like a member of a police force or any kind of um, like official law enforcement institution, he's not even a detective at all. Um, so, uh, so the main character, he's, he's a doctor. He's a member of the Guild of Physicians because the medieval guild system is still around. That's how like, economics are handled through guilds, basically. Um, he has a friend who's a Catholic priest. Obviously, there's no such thing as Protestantism, basically. So um, his friend is a priest, and um, his friend comes to him late one night and says, I, I have a huge problem, and I can't go to the Inquisition because if they find out about it, I'll be in huge trouble. Um, you know, he's a priest, he's, he's responsible for a parish church, and there's a crypt in the church. And um, inside the crypt, there's a secret library. 
and uh, there are some books and scrolls and manuscripts in the library. And uh, the uh, archbishop has been doing some research <clears throat> in the scrolls. And uh, one of these scrolls has been stolen somehow. And there's, um, in the crypt, there's a smell of sulfur mingled with sandalwood in the crypt. And um, the priest thinks whoever stole it used magic somehow because the lock hasn't been tampered with <clears throat> at all. And there's only one key for the lock. And again, magic is real, so that's not so ridiculous. Um, so it turns out that this scroll, it is supposed to reveal the location of the tomb of this old, 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 old king of France, Clovis II, and um, one of the first Christian kings of France. And um, that's where the mystery starts, because the next day, uh, the priest is himself murdered. And uh, I won't give any, I've actually already given away a little bit of the story. But um, basically, the main character, Julian, uh, the doctor, he discovers, he stumbles onto a uh, conspiracy theory that goes all the way back to the First Crusade and to Jerusalem. There was a secret society that was founded um, in Jerusalem um, by, a, by eight knights. And they, uh, they were excavating Solomon's Temple, <clears throat> or the ruins of Solomon's Temple. And apparently they found something there. And um, that something they found was the Holy Grail. And so uh, the main character discovers that the, um, that the secret society, um, which is still active, very active in French politics, and is actually trying to bring about this global world war, um, is connected to the Holy Grail. And uh, that's why his friend gets killed. So he starts investigating it. And the more he uncovers, the larger it becomes. I wanted to make the first three volumes feel very like claustrophobic, where you're, you're in Paris and it's dark and it's dirty and it's dingy. And then the idea for the second half was to get out of Paris and get into the countryside and have it feel much more open and free. Just like, I mean, I love all those scenes in um, Indiana Jones, just that sense, the, the exoticness of it and the openness and the freedom of it. Um, so that's what issue four is all about. Um, Julian and Genevieve, they keep on sort of probing the secrets of the Holy Grail. And um, if I said anything more, again, it's a murder mystery, so to say anything more would really, unfortunately, really ruin a lot of surprises. I've already probably said too much. It'll be 36 issues, all told. And um, that's always been the plan. And uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's like, it, ultimately, it's, it's a murder mystery. And um, I think that once the mystery's over, the story's over, too. And the way Rex Mooney's going to end, there's not going to be very much room for a sequel for the ending I have in mind. Um, uh, I think a lot of, a mistake that I, I feel like a mistake a lot of writers make, a lot of television shows make, Twin Peaks being uh, foremost among them. And I love Twin Peaks. Um, and some other shows that are on now that will remain unnamed, um, is that they just drag on too long, and they just try to milk it for too long. I think if you're going to bow out, you should just bow out gracefully. I mean, I have a story to tell. I know how long it should be. And um, when it's over, it's over. Um, and, and that'll be that. I don't want it to be like those Japanese serials, which just go on and on and on forever. Um, I mean, I love Japanese comics, but sometimes it's just like, for the love of God, get to the point.